Hello there. My name is Harvin Anaraki Krishnan, metric number EA18180. I am the leader of Group 1, and today my group will be discussing about the Chernobyl incident because the task we were given by our lecturer was well, it actually states that the NSPE, which is the National Society of Professional Engineers, and the IEEE, which is the in Institute of electrical and electronics engineers hold paramount towards the citizens, the people and the society in which they serve. So our task is to find an incident or tragedy which in retrospective didn't actually carry out that thing. So uh, our group, group number one, chose the Chernobyl incident and in this video we'll be talking about why we chose it. So to start off, the date that this incident or this tragedy that we, we have chosen happened was on the 26th of April 1986 and the location of it is in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, Pripyat. Ukrainian SSR Soviet Union because it happened in the 1986 the area which is which this nuclear power plant is in was known as the Soviet Union but now after the Soviet Union has fallen in recent in current terms the place is known as Ukraine now the type of trage tragedy which this was was a nuclear and radiation accident which my friends will explain later in the video and the cause of tragedy was that a re reactor design flaws and breach of protocols during s simulated power outage safety test so basically what we are saying is during the night shift some things happened which actually caused this huge tragedy and if you are curious of what it is, well, stay tuned to the video. That is all for me, from me, and I will pass it to Afik now. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Afik Anwabe Ahmad, and my matrix number is EC18019. So today, I'm going to tell you about what happened in Chernobyl on 26 April 1986. So, in, the, in that nuclear plant, the reactor number 4 was undergoing a test to test a backup power supply in case of other power loss. So by the time that the operator moved to shut down the reactor, the reactor was in an extremely unstable condition. The possibility of the design of the control road caused a dramatic power surge and they were inserted to the reactor. So the interaction of the hot fuel with the cooling water led to the fuel fermentation along with rapid skin production and increase in pressure. So the design characteristics of the reactor were such that substantial damage even to three or four fuel assemb assemblies work and did result the construction of the reactor. Because the reactor was over pressure and uh, it bec became an explosion. So two workers died as a result of this explosion. So that what happened in Chernobyl and why the nuclear plant can explode. So that's all from, from me. Thank you. Okay, a very good morning to my lecturer and my fellow friends. Okay, I am Vikneswar Malakrishnan. My tick number is EA18064. Okay, today I will present about the moments in Chernobyl. Okay, as you can see the first picture, that is the picture where taken when before the incident in Ch incident of Chernobyl. Okay, as you can see the second picture which is in black and white, that is the picture taken after the incident of Chernobyl. Okay, as you all know, before this my friend explained what happened in the Chernobyl. Actually the... <coughs> reactor 4 um, explode and it catch up fire with reactor 3 okay okay as you all can see the picture okay this is the picture where the 
the people is cleaning the hidden area okay and this is the picture where the bodies of dead people were taken away okay okay uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Ilman bin Abdul Aziz uh, metric number EC18047 next uh, I will explain about a uh, reason of this uh, uh, Chernobyl disaster of tragedy uh, the first reason is uh, Walker lack of knowledge of uh, reactor physics and engineering as well as lack of uh, experience and training uh, maybe uh, the company hire their worker maybe do not uh, enough of uh, experience and just uh, just hire maybe they just focus on physical but not men men uh, mental 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 <laughs> sorry Next, uh, and the second point is uh, the work is delayed and the night shift was not prepared to carry out of uh, experiment but it was still carried out. This, uh, this explains about maybe uh, their work every time delay. Uh, they do not uh, finish uh, their work uh, to uh, to time that was expected to finish it then uh, the operator seemed to have been un unaware of uh, xenon poisoning they do not uh, take care of carry much of what uh, what uh, effect of the poison may uh, to the human next uh, uh, next point is a limited communication between the safety officer and operator in charge of the experiment this is uh, the main reason that was happened at the tragedy it because uh, communication is one of important thing in in our job nowadays Hi, I'm Dashwini Panalagu here. My ID number is EA18042. And today I'm going to continue about the fatal effects of the disaster. First of all, two workers has dead. One immediately got burned to the ashes after the accident, Sorry. while the other one declared dead at the hospital within few hours of admission. Then, 28 emergency workers and staff, such as doctors, uh, firemen who tried to put off the fires, uh, the doctor who, who went to help the burnt uh, workers, that within 4 months uh, due to the thermal burns and radiation effect on their bodies. This accident created 7,000 cases of thyroid cancer. And then, uh, it took uh, acute radiation syndrome ARS was diagnosed in 237 people who were on site and involved in cleaning up where it affect their genetics uh, their, their genetics and it affects the upcoming generations too and then the land air and groundwater were all contaminated to a great extent which gave, a, which, which gave a very great pollution due to the radiation. Then, uh, it, it simply affect the direct and indirect exposure to the radiation uh, lead to many severe health problems such as mutations, leukemia, thyroid cancer and others. And this radiation to, and this disaster too affect a, a great number of plants and animals where they face destruction after the effect. Thank you. Okay, I am here again. Now I want to present about the feeling and the opinions. Okay, the feeling from this study is sad, angry, and shocked. Okay, the next is uh, we feeling sad because thousands of people died feeling angry and shocked because we know that majority of people died due to human design or automated error. 
because they can create a backup shutdown shut down plan for the reactor but they didn't do it okay in our opinion the engineers play an important role in society nowadays as we move more and more into an automated industry to be really careful in the design of automated system to prevent any harm to people okay in finally engineers should also set a clear guidance and standard operating procedures sops for operator and supervisors to follow to so they will be well equipped to deal with problems when a situation like this arise okay thank you hello everyone my name is selva barty metric number ea18048 today i'm going to discuss about human engineer mistake so my first point is human error this is due to lack of communication between the workers and higher ups and also the workers didn't receive proper training which leads to making mistakes so because they don't know what to do they don't have clear instruction or supervision so moving to second point design the reactor built at chernobyl is designed by soviet high powered reactor channel it which was never built outside the soviet union mainly because the characteristics of the reactor is rejected by other countries outside the soviet union why they reject this type of reactor because this type of reactor is very unstable mainly during uh, startups and shutdown okay moving to point number three automation the system used at chernobyl is very unsafe because the system allows actions that could endanger the security of the central okay moving to suggestions so this tragedy could be simply prevented by following these suggestions so first suggestion is to provide proper training set of instructions or SOPs to the workers so secondly is the design of the router should be tested first to make sure it's stable before initializing it third point is automation the system should be improved so it could prevent any dangerous actions that's all from me thank you hello everyone my name is Muhammad Zamri Bez Zakaria today I want to tell you about the future option for Chernobyl. first we must follow the ethics of engineering so that we can avoid any accident as engineer we must follow ethics and SOP set by NSPE and IEEE ethics is a guide for engineer second point confidently check before approving it it is necessary to check every aspect of safety substance use and so on before approving this is because when an accident occurs the person who approve it will be held responsible and the last point provide proper training operator and supervisor should be trained to develop skill and safety Assalamualaikum and very good evening. My name is Abdul Muin Zufadli bin Abdul Wahad, metric number EC18091. So, I want to make a conclusion for our topic. So, the first conclusion is in 
1989, the World Association of Nuclear Operators WANO, was formed as a middleman where countries who we in the body are able to share information and SOP with each other to ensure no such incident as they will occur again. So for the second conclusion is the Chernobyl incident teach us that people who are operating automated system need to be aware and educated on the guidelines set by the NSPE and IEEE. So for the second conclusion, so to conclude our study, we have determined that the NSPE and IEEE SOP are to be followed by every single engineer because it will guarantee the safety of the people working and living around it. So that, thank you.